Genetic research is an incredibly fast-moving and exciting area, and understanding how genes work has a hugely important role in agricultural science. Chagas researchers are continuing to make great strides in animal genetics to help farmers select superior animals to become the parents of the next generation. Yep, come on. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. They give us our orange jumpers, our Easter dinners, cheese and milk, but it may surprise you to know that these guys in front of me aren't even Irish. Does it make me a sheepist that I can't even tell the difference? <laughs> Knowing we have more sheep than people in this country, 5.2 million, so why would you bother importing some New Zealand species? So Jonathan, this is a breeding trial. When we look at New Zealand, New Zealand have had breeding indexes, so that's basically indexes for sheep, so you can select the best animals to become the parents of the next generation. When we look at the actual production system or the farming system they have in New Zealand, it's a real extensive system. So all their yos lamb outdoors, uh, there's minimum intervention at lambing. So in other words, they have to be good mothers. The lambs have to be able to get up uh, straight away after birth uh, and look after themselves in harsh environment. So really is to test those kind of traits here in Ireland to see are they better at number of lambs born, are they better at lamb mortality and lamb survival. So we're looking to find the, the traits and uh, specific characteristics of the elite of New Zealand sheep, the all blacks of New Zealand sheep. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Selective breeding has been going on for centuries. Is this just a way of speeding that up? Absolutely, yeah. So now here in Ireland we have breeding indexes, so we have an index or a euro uh, value given to the vast majority of what we call pedigree or purebred sheep here in Ireland. So a commercial farmer or a farmer who's going out to select a ram now doesn't just look at the visual, which was what was there for centuries. Now he's looking at traits like how much milk are they going to produce or how long are they going to survive. That's the big advantage with DNA that we see, is that we have a lot more information on that animal when it goes to sale before it's even a year old. When people hear the words genes and DNA and sheep in the same sentence, they start thinking that cloned or genetically modified animals are, are, are being reared in Ireland. That's not happening as yet. Th these embryos are not being edited for, no. for DNA change. No, it's, it's, it's nothing to do with that. It's, it's taking a, a sample, a DNA sample or a biological sample of a lamb like this and get a better understanding of how that lamb will perform on the ground for Irish farmers. So no, we're not really looking at the editing side of things yet. The Intact Flock project began in 2015 and involves approximately 180 ewes. Do you want to give us a hand to take a DNA tissue sample from oh, one of our lambs? Okay. If we just want to hop through here. Graceful as ever. Okay, so just before we start, I just want to give you some gloves. Okay. Um, we have some lambs here that have been preloaded into our conveyor, so we'll just let those go as they've gotten their tags. It's like at the airport. Um, yeah, exactly. So you can see in our lamb here that he's actually missing a tag and I've just picked up our tagger there. This portion of the tag here is where our sample is actually collected. Yep. So it punches through the ear and collects the piece of tissue. Yep. So I want to place the tag there and punch it through, clip it through, that's ah, it. Right, yeah. okay. And release. Yeah. Now, there you go. That's very straightforward actually. Yeah, very good. And we'll just let our lambs continue on through now that they've <laughs> been done. In the lab, researchers extract the DNA from the samples and analyze 15,000 pieces of individual DNA to generate a genetic index, which measures the animal's ability to transmit its genes on to the next generation. This information will allow farmers to select the most suitable sheep for breeding. Each one of those blots represent an individual animal that we have taken a sample from. We're looking at the principal component analysis of the DNA and we're just seeing how diverse um, they are. So here are the two Suffolk populations. So the one up here, this big long line here is the Irish Suffolk. And then we have the New Zealand Suffolk here, which you can see is quite distinct from the Irish population. Down here, we have the Irish Texels, which are the white-headed sheep, and the New Zealand are up here, which are quite distinct. By highlighting these genetic differences, this data will inform the next phase of the project, which will see selected New Zealand sheep bred with Irish sheep to see how the crossbred lambs develop.
So our ultimate aim is to produce a happier, healthier, more productive sheep industry. That in turn will make our farmers and our national flock more productive and more sustainable into the future.